Welcome back. Problem 7-32. So statement is the beam is constructed from two boards fastened together at the top and bottom with two rows of nail space every 6 inch. If nail can support 500 pound shear force, determine the maximum force shear force V that can be applied to the beam. So you can see this is one board and this is another board. They are both they are fastened together to make a beam and they are fastened through nails there are two two rows of nail one is this row and other one is this row and distance between each uh, consecutive nail is six inch and this nail can withstand a maximum of 500 pound shear force horizontal shear force so you have to determine this vertical shear force on that can be applied to this beam so let's start with the solution so as we know that maximum shearing stress is equal to v into q divided by i into t r we know that uh, this uh, shear flow which is q is equal to v q into uh, v q divided by i so with the help of these formulas we will solve this problem so here we we do not have v which we are going to find we do not know this small q which is shear flow we do not know the first moment of inertia and this i second moment of inertia so what we will do is first we will find this section properties so section properties and that section property is i so i is equal to for rectangular or, uh, or square it is equal to 1 over 12 b h cube so you can see this 6 inch is its breadth and this is its height this is height h is equal to 4 inch because 2 plus 2 is 4 so we will put the value 1 over 12 b is 6 and height is 4 cube again when you solve this you will get i is equal to 34 32 inch power 4 now you have this i you will find q and how we will find q so we know that q is equal to y bar dash into a again you can see its neutral axis will be this one this will be its neutral axis passing through centroid so above the neutral axis this area is our required area this area is required area and this area is equal to 2 into its width which is 6 and that is equal to 12 inch square inch now what will be y dash so y dash will be distance from neutral axis till mid of this so it will be this one and this one y dash bar and that's equal to 2 divided by 1 which uh, 2 divided by uh, 2 divided by 2 because it will be in the mid of this 2 inch so it will be 1 inch so you can just put the value y dash is 1 and area is 6 multiplied by 2 so q dash q will be equal to 12 inch q now we will move further we will find shear flow shear flow which is equal to small q and how we will find this so you can see these are the two rows of nails that carry that carries 500 pound horizontal shear force so when this horizontal shear force is divided by this distance which is 500 divided by this distance which is 6 and there are two rows so this will give you shear flow q which is the horizontal shear force per unit length i will write it horizontal shear force per unit length I will repeat 2 is for 2 there are 2 rows and 500 divided by 6 is 
shear force per unit length so that will give you shear flow so when you calculate it you will get this q is 166.67 pounds per inch so the shear flow between the nail is 1.166.67 uh, pounds per nail now what we will do is that we know the shear flow we know q we know i so we will use this formula and to find this v this v so q is equal to v into q divided by i so from here you will know that v is equal to q into i divided by capital q so put the value small q is 166.67 large uh, i is 32 there divide by capital q is 12 so when you solve this you will get v is equal to triple four pound and this is the shear force vertical shear force that can be applied on this beam this is the shear force and that was all about problem 7-32 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching